Hey guys, tonight I thought I'd do an overview of the Goddess of Triumph dorm items so you can decide for yourself whether you want to buy them or not. So first up we've got the rose plushie slash pillow, which I will just do a little quick turnaround here. Um, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. It's alright, but the toggles just make it different sizes. It doesn't really have much going for it, but it is one of the cheaper items, so I can understand that. But I just don't think the design is all that good. It almost doesn't even look like a rose, especially if you color it differently. But that's just me. Let's go for... Oh, the handle, right. I put this on the wall over here. So, this handle. Let me color the ruffles differently so you can actually see them. Um, I like this handle, actually. I think this could be very useful. It's just kind of a shame that it costs Robux. I actually saw... Oh my goodness, this gets so big. I saw it! <laughs> it just keeps going! I saw a dorm earlier that used a bunch of these, and I was just, like, astonished that they spent that much Robux on decorating their dorm, but I don't know. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, I guess. <laughs> oh, it gets really tiny too. Oh, wait, no, that's the original size. Okay. So I, my thoughts on this handle, I think it could be very useful. It's just hard to get multiple of them. <laughs> so it's kind of questionable, but it's a good item. Um, how about we look at the vanity? So the vanity, uh, let me turn the lights on so we can see this real well. There we go. Um, the vanity actually has quite a few toggles, which is cool. Let me see both sides of the pair. Uh, let me do this so we can really see what we're doing here. Okay, so this one's gorgeous. Very nice, more plain. Um, also gorgeous, more plain, and then you move into the desks, which are also gorgeous. I mean, this is a great item, and you're probably only going to need one. So it has five toggles, which is not a crazy amount. Oh wait, is that five? No, that's eight. <laughs> I couldn't see it. Um, it's not a crazy amount of toggles, but it's enough that they give you the variety you're really looking for. At least I think so. So I think this is a decent item. Next, let's take a look at this mirror. Now, this mirror was the first one I got really excited about. Um, let me move over here real quick. There we go. Um, as you can see, it's it's got so much detail, and it is just absolutely stunning. All the, the filigree on the sides, the roses, the wings, just it's beautiful. Um, this one has a lot of toggles. <laughs> It has, let's see, 26, which is a lot to go through. So I'll just try and flash through these really quickly. That one's nice. I mean, honestly, all of these toggles are really nice. And um, I actually really like the um, just the mirror by itself. I think this could make a great like retro TV if you colored the mirror black. Let's see if I can even do that, actually. Mirror color. Yeah! <laughs> I think that could be really fun, actually. Um, what else? You can get it with the wings and the... Oh, let me turn that back to pink. Oh, not that pink. There we go. Um, you can get it in basically any combination you want with various... Um, see, it's like it's just got the strings of pearls. And then you've got these wings, which... Uh, they're huge, and I'm not even sure what you would do with them, but they are pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> I guess you could use them as like a background piece for a photo shoot or something, or uh, or not a photo shoot, but you know, a picture. And I don't know, it, probably put something in the middle of them and get a cool effect. I'm not sure what you would put, but... I bet some people will think of some really cool things to do with these. And then you've got these feathers, which there's like the wing version of the feathers, and then there's just the feathers. And I think these are the last, yep, those are the last toggles. 
So these feathers are pretty cool. I actually used these in my friend Sailor's dorm earlier, and um, <laughs> I feel like they're missing a little something at the bottom. I ended up putting a bow down there, but other than that, I think, especially as like a headboard, this could be really cool. So let's put that back, and finally, we're gonna look at the chair, which for some reason the chair is in the void. <laughs> oh no. Um, that's weird. I could have sworn I put it back. Uh, where is it? Uh, just a Triumph Vanity chair. Let's get that back. Just in case you guys are wondering how to get things back from the void. I, I may do a separate short video on this, but um, you open up the Place Furniture Explorer, you search for what you're looking for, you find it, you click on it here, and then you click on the Place Back in Inventory button on your remote. And then you got it back. <laughs> It's uh, actually pretty easy, and I'm glad they implemented it in the game because it's very easy to accidentally, like, put things through a wall or put them underground and not be able to get them back. So it's quite helpful. So this chair, this chair <laughs> has, if I remember correctly, 48 toggles, which is insane. And it's actually quite interesting. They, um, there's a lot of varieties of see there's now it's got arms and then the base of it changes you can get it with the feathers without now it's got the, no arms again like this chair oh and there's a shorter version <laughs> oh let's see is this like an ottoman yeah it is oh oh no it's not it was just stuck in the floor okay um oh these are taking a minute to load in oh no up is that gonna fix it up no. There it goes. Huh. Not sure why it's doing that. Oh, now it's working again. I actually really like this toggle of voice hair. I think this is super cute. Um, would be a good vanity chair. I, I may actually replace my crown royalty throne over here uh, with this because I want to use it and I just like it. <laughs> let's, let's see. Toggle 17. Um... And then you get more of like a stool. And I believe, yeah, this is just straight up an ottoman, which is pretty cool. Um, it's unfortunate that it's so expensive because um, previously I had used these Pintuck pillows as cushions that you could sit on like for little ottomans, but this one you can actually sit on, which is great. So let's see, what's next? Um, more cushions in different sizes, which is also great. Oh, goodness. Um, okay, so this is one of the headboards. And these things get gigantic. I am not entirely sure what they were thinking when they made these headboards. <laughs> They're a little extra, and that's saying a lot coming from me. Okay, this, this is slightly better, but it's so wide. And then... We got the wings again, which is... This is interesting that they gave us these these wing and feather toggles on both the um, mirror and the chair. I'm not entirely sure why they did that, but I'm not complaining because it gives me access to use both of them at the same time if I want to. Anyway, I think this chair is really good. It's got a lot of really cool toggles and it's just a shame they made it so expensive, but it is for charity, so I understand. Anyway, I think that covers everything. I've looked at all five of the items, so I'm going to put that back. And I hope this was helpful to you guys and can help you figure out whether you want to buy these items or not. Thanks for watching!